<laughs> Folks, our next guest has been nominated for three Academy Awards and has won four Tonys, uh, but these days probably best known for her long-running role on the CBS powerhouse blockbuster program, <laughs> Matlock. <laughs> oh. Do me a favor, please say hello to America's most beloved actress, Angela Lansbury. Thank you very much for coming. Oh, it's a great pleasure. What do you pleasure. have there in the bag? Oh, well, I got a little present for you. All Something right. for your pool. Oh, bless your heart. Yeah, so could Certainly could getting I... a lot of use out of that well, pool. Well, wait a minute. I, I don't know whether I can find it. Hang on just a second. Uh, what do you have in there? Oh, by the way, Angela, while you're looking, I'd like you to meet Slash, Slash, Angela Lansbury, Angela Lansbury, Slash. Hello. Hello, Slash. <laughs> Hello, Paul. You see, I know who everybody is. Good I mean, I've done a lot of homework. Oh, right? ducks! Oh, yeah. Well, I figured if you had dogs, you needed ducks, yes, you know. Yes, absolutely. So I'm right, just going to go and pop right, them me, in the pool. Okay. Now, be very careful. Yeah. All right. Just yeah, keep it. You. All right. Watch your step, Angela. Get <laughs> to see you floating face down in the pool there. There. Very nice. Thank you. Very sweet of you. Angela, and maybe you don't know this, but ever since we... Well, now what are you doing? Oh, you're going to knit. See, that, that sends a, a very bad sign That's to the audience if the bad. guests... <laughs> if the guests come on and are so bored they have to do, uh, like, no, knitting no. or no, needlepoint. I got to tell you that I bring you greetings from my crew. The crew of Murder, She Wrote were so excited. This is the best thing I've done in 10 years. Well, to get on my best show. to your crew. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, that brings me to the, my original point. Uh, we've been trying to have you on every... We wanted you on our very first show way back in the summer, and we've been trying almost every week. Now, is uh, <laughs> something about the show, something about me? Would you... Well, you're in New York, you know, and I'm in Los Angeles. And, airplanes. Um, Ever I heard of airplanes? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, I mean, for me to get to New York to, to be on your show would be, well, it'd be the hardest thing in the world for me to do. Otherwise, I guarantee you, I haven't even seen a show in New York for the right. past five years. Yeah. Isn't that incredible? Been, been just that busy with Murder, She Wrote, I would guess. Well, yeah, it's a yeah. very relentless nine months of the year. Well, job, you do a great you know? job. Now, this, this show uh, has been like the, the mainstay, the cornerstone, the blockbuster, the powerhouse for the network. Oh. Stop, no, it's true. I've it's got true. a lot of company. There's some funny no, 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 no. <laughs> You're the reason I came to CBS. Ah. Because I said to myself, even if I can just get some of Angela Lansbury's tip money, I'm there. <laughs> oh, you've been wonderful. <laughs> Listen, you, you've kept my name in front of the public. I want you to know that. And oh, I'm very grateful very nice to that. Job. You're doing a great job. And I've noticed on your show a couple of things, and correct me if I'm wrong. Whenever somebody comes to visit you, <laughs> chances are one of the folks in the group before the program is over will be dead. No doubt about it. We're not called the murder capital of the world for nothing. I mean, that's what Cabot Cove is, you know. And, and that's what we're into. That We're in the business of murder. And, and, and then whenever there's a newcomer, yeah. He's the killer. That's very true. We have to be very careful, in fact, because so often, you know, we have a wonderful guest star, and the audience immediately says, oh, he's the killer, you know? Yeah. So we have to switch it sometimes so that they're, so we don't give the, give the game away. It's, it's quite something. <laughs> Has anybody ever suggested as a possible script, like for an ending show, that... You bet your life they have, and not just an ending show, let me tell you. <laughs> well, how, do you how do you come back from Get that, that woman out of our lives, you know? No. It's incredible. Uh, and we have such ridiculous ways of murdering people. Have you ever noticed? I mean, we kill people with coffee pots, you know. We, dro we drop them in the tubs with, a, with a hair dryers. And, and, you know, well, it, I must tell you, trying to find new ways to bump people off without a it lot ain't of that gore, easy. No. and without a lot of violence, yes. which, as you know, I'm dead against, it ain't easy. Yeah. But see, I think, I think that explains the success of the show. It's, it's, it's not the plots, it's not the murder victims, it's not the guest stars. Year in, year out, week in, week out. People uh, watch the show because they like you. And that's, it's amazing. That's it's it's very interesting. Oh. There's, there's something very comforting about Murder, She Wrote, you know, on a Sunday night. It, it's, right. it's a lovely little puzzle, you know, somebody gets bumped off and we find out who it is, <laughs> and uh, Jessica solves the crime, and then all's right with the world. That's right. And nobody has nightmares. A little Sunday right. evening homicide and then right to bed. <laughs> We all love mystery. Yeah. It's, it's the single most uh, most popular form, I think, of, uh, <laughs> of drama, really, is mystery. Let me mention one other thing here. One of my all-time favorite films is uh, Gaslight. Mm. 
Man, what a piece of work that thing is. What a mystery that was. Yeah, but and geez, the what a... lights going up and down, you know, I mean, that was wonderful. And you, you were hot. I'm telling you, you were unbelievable. You know it. You, you were like kind of the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and you, you uh, when you shot the film, you were like 17 or 18, is that I right? was 17 years old when I, when I started it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I became 18. I had my 18th birthday on the set, and I never forget Ingrid Bergman and Charles Boyer. They gave me a party, and George Q called the director. I mean, these were giants, you know, oh, these people. Absolutely. And I, I was just a little English girl who knew A from a bull's foot, as my mother used to say. And, uh, you know, it was quite something. The only thing was that I was called upon, uh, you may or may not know this, to smoke in the movie. I had to smoke a rather long white cheroot with Charles Boyer. And we had this rather suggestive scene in which I was smoking. Well, I had a, a welfare worker on the set with me, so I wasn't allowed to smoke. As a kid, you were underage, kid, you couldn't under smoke. Age, sure. Couldn't smoke. We had to wait till my 18th birthday. Well, let me tell you, all hell broke loose. Everybody lit up. I lit up. I inhaled. <laughs> as, well, I've been, you know, what a way to celebrate I, your birthday. I, 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 Everybody I lighten up and butts. I said this if I'm glorified. <laughs> I sound as if I'm glorifying smoking, and I'm not, yeah. you know, because... That was different times, all together different times. I 20 years ago. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. What a great film. Ladies and gentlemen, we're a little late. We've been ordered off the air. My thanks to Angela Lansbury. Continued success with your great program. My thanks also to Slash and Michael Keaton. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow night. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>